There is a whole section of vulnerable women who have been totally failed by today's society, often homeless or coming from social care. Many also struggling with sexual and physical abuse, mental health issues and addictions. Women who have no support networks of family and friends capable of helping them escape their circumstances. Young women who for one reason or another have fallen through the cracks in our system. Women who out of sheer desperation have to sell their bodies for sex. Streetlink has been doing outreach for over 16 years now. and um, We go out three nights a week and one very early morning a week. There were lots of concerns about women who were working in Lambeth and there were sex working on the street and there was no support for these women. And we set up Streetlink to offer the women choices. Oh, interesting, interesting. interesting. Sirens have started already. The stereotype is like the short skirts. Fishnets. Generally revealing. Very little clothing. Mini skirts, things like that. A lot of the public have a misconception of what um, a sex worker looks like. Street-based sex workers look like you and me. They look like your mother, your sister, your auntie, your friend. Just trainers, jeans, hoodies and a jacket. Do you want to have a park over there? Because I've okay. just seen somebody. OK, I'll go just this side. Yeah. Fifty hundred pounds, I don't know. Probably forty to fifty pounds. Fifty pounds. Twenty to fifty. Fifty and a hundred. They're not working in hotels, they're working out on Brixton Hill. The going rate is twenty pounds for um, sex, but I know unfortunately some of the younger girls or the more desperate girls have been known to charge five pounds. Really wet tonight. I don't know how many we'll see. Although the last time it was wet, I actually did still see 12 women, which really surprised me. Like Eastern Europe. Eastern European in Jamaicans. Eastern Europe. Eastern Europe, Africa. Um, a lot of people believe that our women are Eastern Europeans or from overseas, but in actual fact, they are all British born. It's a red light district, so they gravitate here, but they're just normal people that have grown up in South London. So I saw um, a new woman again on Monday. I've seen her once before, but I want us to look out for her tonight. I didn't even really get to make eye contact. So okay. hopefully she'll be out again tonight and we can try and, and get her to come over for a cigarette. Yeah. Hi, Tina, how are you? Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Do you want some condoms? Yeah. Thanks. Do you want some flavoured? Flavoured, yeah, please. Yeah. Okay, right. give them cigarette as well. Oh, please. cigarette would be great. Thanks. So. Cool. And I'm going to give you another armband. Oh, that would be good. I lost the last one. There we go. Thanks, thanks. There we go. Ooh. And some food? Got any crisps? You know, there's there, there is a space yeah, at the thanks. hostel tonight. OK. That would be good. Yeah, if you want somewhere safe to stay tonight. <sighs> yeah. So do you want to... Do a little bit more of what you need to do yeah. out here first. And, and we're out for a bit, so we'll okay. look out for you maybe later on because we can always give you a lift there. Yeah. Wow. Okay, All keep right. your mailbox open, please. Okay, okay. And Cheers. look out for us. Okay, I think I'm going that way. All right, okay. we'll see you later then. Okay, All right, you take right. care. Bye. Bye. A woman has this around her wrist when she's in the police station or in a hospital or something, she can call us. The women lose the cards, so these are really helpful. We also do needle exchange for uh, heroin users. This pack has got everything in it that's needed. It's got the needles, it's got barrels, it's got alcohol wipes. It's got a little packet in there to take the used needles as well. I might want to do that referral with her for housing. Okay. And there's a possibility of a space for her, but I, I need her to, to come in. So we need okay. to look out for her and tell her. Yeah, OK. If she'd at least sign the consent form, yes. we, can, we can get yes. cracking yes. with that. Because yes. it's getting really yes. desperate now that yeah. she gets some housing, because yeah. I can't do any other work with her until I know exactly where she is. Yeah. Via Streetlink, they work with um, women in the community, assessing their needs and looking at their past histories. They then help the woman get a place in the Lambeth pathway, which is usually ours. They will um, help with that bridging and transition where they build the trust with the women and um, bring them into us. So it's an easier transition for them. A lot of them are very vulnerable girls that have left care and they've, and they've been exploited. They may have found a partner who sends them out on the street 
They, they may have a pimp who sends them out in the street and mostly because they've lost all respect for their own bodies and they've lost their individuality and people that they should be. I was put into the care system at the age of 14. My parents were alcoholics and from an early age I started using and drinking. I was at college and I was working part-time in a pharmacy, but there was something that wasn't right. I couldn't cope with reality. I couldn't cope with feelings. I was empty inside. It ended up with me just getting with violent partners. I was sleeping with dealers to get drugs and I ended up on crack and heroin. That was, that was it for me. It was total and utter oblivion. I lost my children in the process. I was in complete denial and had no understanding of my dependency on men and letting myself be abused. And that's when I ended up selling myself on the street. I was in total blackout most of the time. I would have punter after punter. You know, it weren't a lot of money, but it was enough to get me a drink or, or a bit of gear. You know, I was known as a prostitute. That's where it had taken me, and I was in the gutter, being raped, being abused by people, I was being drugged by people, I was spiked, I was gang raped. I could see no way out of, of this living hell. The importance of Spire's Street Link is it provides that very important link between the street sex worker and the police. Without the presence of spires, many sex workers are very reluctant to go to the police directly. So the effect of spires is to provide access to justice for some very vulnerable people. Most of the women that we work with have experienced multiple instances of rape and sexual abuse throughout their lives. And it's really beautiful to see a space where they feel safe enough to access the support that they deserve. You went. Yeah, you called. Do you want the cigarette? A lot of these girls, they haven't yeah. got families to speak of. They have no links at all. And without Jenny and Pam and the other people that work on the project, they would have nowhere to turn. I mean, some of these girls are like children where they haven't been nurtured, where they've come up in the care system. We see them, they come into the centre sometimes, and basically they call us auntie and they call us mum and they just want a cuddle. They offer a women-only space. I think a lot of services really underestimate how crucial that is for women's empowerment. So, ladies, as you know, we've got a lot of courses for you. Inspired. Both men and women can access a variety of courses, such as IT, ESOL, um, but there are also a lot of extra activities just for ladies. They don't just do their bit and then leave the woman. They have drop-in groups and they run classes and they stay in contact with the woman throughout their recovery, which is what I value the most about Spires. We offer a strategy, we offer a structure, we offer opportunities for women to take. So we have um, stage one, which is a immediate response project, where we look at benefits, looking at past traumas, etc. We then have um, a stage two project, which is about taking that foundation and rebuilding yourself, um, looking at what you want to be in the future, who, who you want to be. And then we have our third stage project, which is about living that life. So you've put all of your bits in place and now you're actually living it. A team of people helped me access treatment and helped me get the help I needed. I started addressing my sex working and my addiction issues. And it was the best thing I could have ever done for myself. I started volunteering at Spires and I enrolled in college full time. But the voluntary work for me gave me a chance to give back and help women who I am just like. What's really marvellous about Spires Street Link is their years of experience and now informing a national protocol that the police are putting into place. So the example of what's happened in South London is now going to be used to make policing better throughout the UK. Do you remember that escort that um, we did a little bit of work with the other year? She said to me that within a mile of spires there were two flats. One was a Russian flat and one was a Polish flat. Yeah. And yeah. in the Russian flat um, all of the women escaped. Yes. And she said that the Russian guys were kidnapping women off the street to yeah. work in that flat. So this is just in the roads Absolutely. near Spires. Absolutely. We've done a research and found out that locally to Spires we have so many women working in flats 
and would like to make that contact. In case there are women out there who are forced to do what they're doing, in case there are women out there who are trafficked, that's the only way we can actually count numbers. Women out there would have children, so we want to make sure that children are not being exposed. They're struggling, they have no food, they have no money, they have no way to access support. So those are the people that we want to make contact with, support and give them opportunities to make changes or make them contact with services that can help them. I just wish every part of the country had, a, had aspires because then the outcomes for street sex workers would be so much better than they are at the moment.